Ferrari, a brand that needs no introduction. However, if you would like one, I did a video on the founding of Ferrari that I'll link here. Now, when we're talking about rarity, there's really any number of things we could go on. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to focus strictly on production numbers. And let me tell you, there's no doubt that these are some of the hardest to come by Ferraris in the world. And one of these sold for $70 million. If you don't know this answer already, try and guess which one. I'll reveal it later. Anyhow, starting with number 10, we have the Ferrari 250 GTO. The 250 GTO is a V12 powered GT car that was produced by Ferrari from 1962 to 1964. Just 36 of these were made, which includes 33 models from Series 1, and only 3 being made from Series 2, which had bodywork closer resembling the 250 LM. When this car was new, it cost about 18,000 USD and was available only for buyers that were approved by both Enzo Ferrari and his dealer for North America, Luigi Chinetti. At number 9, we have the Ferrari 410 Super America. The 410 Super America is yet another entry in the list of Ferrari America cars which were these large grand touring cars with a large V12 engine in the front. The 410 Super America was produced from 1955 to 1959, and only 35 were built during this time frame, and each had custom bodywork, with a few by Boano and Ghia, but most by Paninfarina. The price of these at the time was incredibly high, at 16,800 USD, and was more than double the price of the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing that was on display at the same show. At number 8 we have the Ferrari 195 Inter, which was the Grand Tour version of the 195S Racer. These were produced from 1950 to 1951, and only 28 were made. It was introduced at the 1950 Paris Motor Show, and was similar to the 166 Inter shown a year earlier, and also aimed at the same kind of clientele. This car would be pretty short-lived, and replaced by the 212 Inter that would be introduced at the same show a year later. Number 7, the Ferrari 365 GTS. This is the spider variant of the 365. The 365 GTC and GTS replaced the 330 GTC and GTS in 1968. While the body style remained mostly consistent, the big change here was the engine from a 4 liter that made 300 horsepower to a 4.4 liter that made 320. While 168 of the coupe variant were produced, only 20 spiders were made before it was replaced by the Daytona Spider, which is what makes this particular Ferrari quite special. At number 6 is the Ferrari 365 California. The 365 California replaced the 500 Superfast in 1966. This was the very first 365 model introduced, and also a part of the Ferrari America cars. These were built using the same chassis as the 500 Superfast, but with a Paninfarina-designed Cabriolet body. Took a real risk there saying Cabriolet, but hopefully I fixed the pronunciation. Thank you everyone that pointed that out in the other video. Now, only 14 of these were produced from 1966 to 1967, and in 2005, one in mint condition sold for 890000 USD. So no, this wasn't the $70 million Ferrari. Number 5, the 375 America. The successor of the 342 America. The new V12 in this thing allowed it to achieve a 0-60 time in under 7 seconds in a top speed of 160 miles per hour. A total of only 12 of these were made from 1953 to 1954, and these were both expensive and exclusive. Out of these 12, only 10 were original 375s, while the other two were converted 250 Europas. At number 4, we have the Ferrari 275 NART Spider. This was a two-seater Spider version of the 275 GTB4. Ten of these were built in 1967, initiated by North American dealer Luigi Chinetti. As a matter of fact, the name NART is a reference to the North American racing team, 
which was a motorsports racing team he created in 1958. Number three is the Ferrari J50. The J50 was an ultra limited edition version of the Ferrari 488. Not only was it more stylish, more powerful, but it was more exclusive as only 10 were built to honor Ferrari's 50th anniversary in Japan. In 2021, one of these popped up for sale in Tokyo for the equivalent of 3.6 million USD. Number two is the Ferrari 342 America. Only six of these were made in 1952, including a Vignale Cabriolet designed by Giovanni Michelotti and five cars designed by Pininfarina, two Cabriolets and three Coupes. These cars used an even chassis numbering, which was a practice that was adhered to for Ferrari race cars, while the 372 America and later used odd numbering. Now, number one on this list is the Ferrari 365P Berlinetta Speciale. This was a concept sports car produced by Ferrari in Pininfarina in 1966. It featured a mid-engined layout with three seats in a central driving position. This would later be a prominent feature in the McLaren F1. This was the first mid-engined road-going Ferrari branded car, and only two were ever produced. One had remained with the Chinetti family since 1969 and was up for auction in 2014, but it went unsold with a high bid of $23.5 million. The second car was reportedly commissioned by the head of Fiat, Gianni Agnelli, after seeing the first presented at the Paris Motor Show. So, which of these cars sold for $70 million? Well, believe it or not, that honor goes to number 10, the Ferrari 250 GTO. That $18,000 investment in 1963 would go on to make $70 million for one lucky individual that sold theirs at a private sale in 2018. At the time, this became the most expensive car ever sold, and it still is today. So, which of these was your favorite? And have you had an experience with any of these? If so, I'd love to hear it. So share it in the comments below. And what wasn't on this list that you wanted to see? Keep in mind, there's a possibility I missed something here, as there's a lot of sources and numbers to go through. So feel free to leave that in the comments as always. And of course, if I mispronounced anything, you know what to do with that as well. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next video. This is Andrew from Cars and Life. Take it easy, everybody.